I, uh, I went and filmed with Paddy the Baddy last week. Well, I went and filmed with, with Shem Rock and he, f- he trains out of um, Next Gen Liverpool and Paddy, Paddy the Baddy was there. So I finally got to meet him. I've just got a quick question, sir. Yeah. Why did they say, they say it like that? Why did they say he trains out of, instead of he trains at? Like, you know, I wouldn't say like, I train out of my garage. I'd say like, I train out, I train at my. Um, I think like, rather than just train, I train at, I think it probably gives a bit more recognition to the gym and the coaches, if you like it. They, th- this is like a- They produce. This is a production kind of-, of uh, is that, yeah, I, yeah. I would, I'm guessing. Got um, it, mate. Got it, yeah. Because cool. they can train at loads of different gyms, but- He's not training out of all of those. Teams. Yeah, that's that's his main main haunt. Consider me uh, told. Go on. But yes, I finally got to meet him, and uh, it were it, it, it was nice enough. It would it, obviously we were doing his his bits and bats. But halfway through filming, and I wasn't filming him, I was filming somebody else. He like came over and like screamed at me, <laughs> right? Like shouted at me because I was wearing white socks. So what did I tell you earlier on, George, about his lo- the lower body fashion sense. Yeah, if you were in there. God knows so, what he said. So I'm laughing and he's like, shoes. he's like doing the full, like, like full like, patting the body, like, what are you doing, lad? What are the, you know, what are the I'm lad? And I'm like, I'm laughing. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck is he saying? Like, I don't know what, what are you saying to me? So apparently I didn't know what was going on. He basically said, don't do that again. I'll let you off this time. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Carried on about my day. Did an interview with him afterwards um, for, for part of the production thing. Uh, but funnily enough, he got his, he did not, somebody knocked his tooth out or he would do jujitsu and he knocked his front tooth out. Um, so hopefully that's fixed, Paddy. Um, but I went to get in touch with Tori Mike um, to get the, the lowdown of, of what had happened. And apparently... <laughs> Mike, you translate what this cunt's saying. <laughs> he sent us a voice note in the chat explaining that basically, if you're not from Liverpool, you're classed as a wool, right? And nobody in Liverpool would ever wear white socks. Nobody. 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 <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. You're, you're as bad as he is, man. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody in Liverpool would wear white socks. Apparently so. So if anybody, this is like a public service announcement. If you're going to go to Liverpool, which we are this afternoon, don't wear white socks. Have you got white socks on? No, I put black socks on just because I, I, I consider myself tall. I, I literally do not own a pair of white socks. <laughs> and in fact, I don't think I own any white clothing. At, at all. Especially boxer shorts. <laughs> no, I, I used to, yeah. But in fact, you have because you've sent us shitty knickers before. Yeah, I've learned that. <laughs> um, yeah, but it is a bit Michael Jackson if you wear white socks with like black attire. You know, like, Just sports. Like, I mean, I, I had Nike trackies on, Nike socks, and like an Under Armour, like zip. I had like gym gear on, so I was fucking filming in the gym. Always ready for like athleticism, aren't you? Well, yeah, I can't, always I ready for some if, sporting if, event. If, like if in case jumps on my c- back, I'm going to have to the street. Yeah, but I'm not going to run around a gym wearing fucking skinny jeans and Vans, am I? Why? That's because not it's not comfortable. All like, oh, right, they're not comfortable. Not to be like filming. Do you, you saw the on my Instagram where I fucking I ripped my my jeans from bollock th- through to arsehole because I squatted. So I'm, and I'm on mats trying to get different angles. I'm not going to do that in skinny jeans. All right, fair anyway, enough. the point of the matter is, don't wear white socks in front of Paddy the Baddy. It's what we've learned. Oh, if you want to wind him up, do wear white socks. In fact, next time you should go dressed like completely in white. Yeah. You know, not like, like a Ku Klux Klan. Oh, I should actually. say like a ghost or a Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> I should like just white, white tire. But anyway. I think if anyone's going to break you for having white socks, it can't be him. I know, man. Have you seen that? That, <clears> that, that got, haircut. He's got, yeah, he's got a haircut like fucking Wurzel Gummidge. Come on, man. Well, he leathered me and... Uh, it's on camera, so I that's he's not watching this podcast. I, yeah, I'm sure he isn't. I was going to say to him, but I, I, I were almost ready to be like, "Are you going to do a video with beard?" And I thought, I can't be asked. I can't be asked having this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. <laughs>